Hey guys, welcome back to another video in this channel. So today we're going to talk about the portfolio submissions. Um, we have a little bit of a situation, so let me let me explain. Um, I I activated the link a couple of days ago, or not a couple of days ago. La last week on Monday, I activated the link, and uh, it was active all throughout this uh, week. Uh, actually, it was active more time or longer than it should have. And the, I'm not sure if there was a little bit of a miscommunication on my part with you guys, or some of you got confused because most of the portfolios were, were from the from the last one. But we got some like very few portfolio uh, submissions today or for this a week, which is Alfin Jose, Kitelan Howard, and my friend. I, I unfortunately um this is. Prat Prathamesh Jadhav. I'm not sure if I pronouncing that right, but my friend, if you're watching this video, I made a mistake and I deleted your folder with the rest of the other ones and I don't have it with me right now. So don't worry, this is what we're gonna do. If by any chance or by any sort of a problem, you forgot to, or you got like confused because those were like the old portfolios from the last time we had the review, don't worry. I'm gonna review this too right now. We're gonna go over them. And I'm gonna give you guys a new link down here on the description, and I'm gonna keep the submissions open for tomorrow, that, that is. So if you're seeing this video today, which should be Monday, and you wanna submit your portfolio, now's your chance. Check down the description. There's gonna be a new link for you guys. It's not gonna be the same one from the last week, so that one's it's gonna be deactivated. It's gonna be a completely new one. Make sure to drop uh, your folder with your name, a small text file with your portfolio to ArtStation, or if you want your renders, and I'll be happy to review them for uh, Tuesday's video. Now. If I don't see that there's a lot of submission, which could happen, like maybe our user base right now has submitted everything that we uh, have and we need to wait a couple of weeks for, for um, more submissions to come through, then uh, don't worry, I'll keep this link down here open, okay? The one that we have here, if I don't see enough submissions, I'll let you know in tomorrow's video and I'll keep this link open. So if you're seeing this video and we're still not on the uh, second to last week before uh, Christmas, so I think this is uh, Saturday 18th and Sunday 19th of this month, December, if uh, we're not there yet and you're seeing this video, make sure to check down uh, here and submit your portfolio so that we can review it on that specific day. We'll continue with the Lighthouse, more tutorials, more stuff, but we'll leave. Uh, we'll let a couple of days pass so that we get more um, more submissions and this um, series becomes a little bit more interesting, okay? So let's go with Alfin Jose. Hi, Abraham, hope you're doing well. I completed the Marmos, it comes from Udemy. It was really good, thank you. Now, I started your Maya's environment creation for a film course. Okay, that was the first one I did for Nextit, by the way, uh, like almost two years back. This is my R station uh, link, and you say that my feedback will be good for you. Hopefully it will, my friend. Alfin Jose, you're from India. Jose is a, is a very um, Spanish name. Uh, maybe you have some Spanish ancestry in your family. Let's take a look. So, this looks very good. This looks very, very cool. There's a couple of things that could be improved. For instance, you can see up here on the on the tiles for this uh, thing, they're very uniform. You did a good job like making them random or a little bit more random on this side, but then kept them very like uh, repeatable uh, up here. So small detail that you could improve. This is a very, very nice concept. I would strongly suggest uh, to you, Alfin, to um, texture this, or at least try to do like a cinematic render, even if it has no textures, but not just a clay render. Clay renders are really good, or this like ambient occlusion renders are really good to show the modeling skills, but since most of these models, I'm not saying they're bad, they're, they're really good, but they're simple, I would call them simple models, um, having a more cinematic lighting would give you a couple more points in my, in my book. So that one's a good one. It's a really good one. I see here on your description that you like hard surface and environment. That's great. This looks very good. Again, careful with proportions, okay? For instance, this like cushion right here looks a little bit too small compared to the rest of the seat. I, I haven't seen like this specific model. I know it's a Jeep, but I'm not sure which one it is. So we need to be careful about proportions. I would make this a little bit bigger just so that it makes sense with the rest of the elements. Same with the like the supports here, like the metal like beams, making them a little bit thicker. Like take a look at the shovel as well. Like imagine someone's riding this uh, this Jeep right here and he grabs the shovel because he's gonna use it somewhere. Either this is a gigantic uh, seat or these things right here are really, really small. So scale is one of those things that's relatively easy to notice once you get the eye for it. And, and it's very important that we do not um, do not have any issues with that one, okay? But the topology of the of the wheels looks good. Most of the models good. And again, this is a nice clay render, but uh, if I might suggest to you 
we did a video let me show you uh, here let's go videos we did one called clay render a couple of uh probably like a month or so ago where is it this one this one the how to create renders for your portfolio uh, go back and check it out because I show you how to do a nice clay render. It's a very simple setup with V-Ray, a uh, V-Ray, with Arnold inside of Maya, and I think you're using Maya. So um, I think that one could really help you with this uh, piece because this is actually a good piece uh, as, a, as a modeling uh, exercise. I think this is a good piece. Just having a nicer uh, render will be really, really helpful for this uh, element. Uh, this is, uh, we have a, a brand over here called Rotoplas, and uh, it's one of those water tanks. Very good. Topology is great um details are great so yeah i would probably since you like took the effort to do this in subdivision mode and then you get got this renders where it's uh see how faceted this looks you forgot to press number three on your um on your subdivision option so that when you render out this thing it smooths out now uh there's a small little trick because there's a couple of students that have uh computers that are a little bit i wouldn't say old but under power. So uh, if you're struggling with the subdivision mode where when if you try to subdivide your computer just crashes or something, here's a small tip for everyone. So let's say let's say I have this guy right here and I have my bevels, right? So let's do like two bevels and a small fraction like this. So right now, if I bevel this, I'm still going to get this faceted look. And I don't want that. I want to bevel in and get like the soft, uh, super soft element. But if, if my computer can't handle the, the, the smooth subdivision, I know this object is super simple. Uh, what you can do is you can go to the shape objects right here to the, to the whatever shape you're using. And if you go to the Arnold options, you can find this thing called the subdivision. And you're going to set the subdivision to Cadmod Clark and just uh, do one iteration. And what's going to happen now, let me add a just like sky dome light and render this out. So again, if we focus here, let me grab the object and say subdivision to zero. If we were to render this, you're going to see that we have this faceted look, right? This, whatever we're seeing in the viewport, we're seeing on the, on the render. However, if we do one subdivision on the Catmull Clark on the shape node, as you can see, it's not changing here. But once we render, we are going to get the smooth. You probably want to set this up to two, which is what the normal smooth would give you here inside of uh, inside of Maya, and there we go. So this is what we would get, as you can see here. Now, if you subdivide and then set this to two, it's kind of like doing it four times. So you don't want to do that. This is only if you're not going to be using your number, your smooth uh, like option, your smooth view here in your viewport. And I normally do this with like really heavy objects. So if I know that I'm going to have like a really dense mesh and I don't want to have that on real time on my viewport, I'll set this up again here on the subdivisions to Catmull Clark and just add whatever subdivisions we need. This is something that we also use for the um, displacement maps, uh, but we can talk about those uh, later on another, on another video. If you guys want me to talk about those, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to talk about uh, displacement maps. Again, this is a great scene. Nice topology, nothing weird, spoon. Very similar to what we did a couple of uh, days ago. I really, I really like this one, like the cinema rolls. That's, that's a really nice touch. Uh, the um, the berry, or there was like what berries or nuts or something, like hazelnuts. Very cool, very cool. Just add add a couple of materials. Again, um, I'm gonna be using our videos, of course, but go back to the spoon material or the spoon render that we did a couple of. Uh, that was last week, I think, this one, the basic modeling workflow, and take a look at how to add basic materials inside of Arnold, and, and you're going to be able to just, like, add those materials to these elements, like like a porcelain, a glass, just a basic, like, plastic dark for the chocolate, and you can actually light the scene and create, like, a like a, like a render-style thing, and, and, and it will look very cool. Uh, cars are always good. Topology looks, looks nice and crisp. Congratulations. I always tell my students that modeling a car is, like, the... It's like the thesis for becoming a modeler. So, so you need to at least try and model a car uh, at one point in your modeling career because it is challenging. There's a couple of pinches here and there. You can see them over here. We're kind of like bumps in, in weird ways. So make sure to check those out because it, it is definitely pushing uh, in ways that I don't think the, the model would you normally follow, uh, but not bad. I like this couch, really cool. This was done four days ago, so, so nice. Again, render, man, render. You need to improve your render. If I can give you one advice, because your modeling is, is on point and your texturing seems to be going in a good direction, you need to improve your rendering. Three-point light. If you don't know how to render, just do a basic three-point light setup and you're going to be on the other side of things. Uh, this one, I think I've seen the tutorial. Is this a tutorial? I think it is, right? 
here the modeling is good the rendering is not bad however i do think the textures are lacking a little bit maybe some metal edge wear maybe a little bit of uh, rust or dirt because it looks too clean and um and yeah like too smooth i would say maybe sharpen some edges uh but yeah congratulations Elfin. like you have a, a really really good portfolio i think you're in a, in a really good uh road to to becoming a great artist uh, you do have what it takes to start like doing some some work actually like you do know modeling you do know uh, a little bit about texturing so again my best advice this sort of thing like like do render do a render grab all of these pieces don't delete them just update them with a clean nice render and your portfolio is going to be looking way way stronger so that's the first submission Alfine let, let's go with Kidelen Howard Kide is it Kai or Kide Hopefully I'm not butchering that one. Hi, next to Hello. I'm currently a freelance 3D artist and have just recently finished a long-term contract. Okay, that's great. I'll open to new opportunities. I've really been appreciating the great content you guys have been putting out. Thank you very much. Very instructional. It helps me to be better my personal workflow. Keep up the awesome work and can't wait to see you what guys can't wait to see what you guys come up with in the future. I'm already working on the next next premium uh, element, so hopefully you guys are gonna like that one. Let's Let's go to your side, which you actually have a side. That's great. Um, talking about sides, just a small parenthesis. When I was at school, ArtStation was not as big as it is now. It was just starting. So we were encouraged to have our own site. Nowadays, I do think ArtStation is like, it's like the, the LinkedIn for, for art people. So even though you do have your own uh, site, I would strongly recommend that you also have your, um, your ArtStation as well, my friend. This one looks good. That's a nice render. So see um, what we're talking about? Like this is this is the kind of stuff that it looks very nice because it's not just a clay render. It has a little bit of extra like light information, for instance, like a inner or yeah, like an inner light here inside of the things. That's very cool, man. Texture it, texture this guy. Yeah, yeah, the render is great. The concept's great. There, there you go. You have the you have the colors, so you know how each thing should look. It definitely seems to me that you have this very nice cartoon style. That's great. I love this truck. Very cool. Great, great work. Ah, great work. There you go. You have the the colors. Just do the textures. Do the textures, and you're gonna be on the next level. Nice, simple prop. That's great. Uh, this one's fun. That's cool. Okay. 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 Simple one, but that's cool. Uh, this is what I called, uh, I like to call this kinds of artworks, uh, like graphic design artworks, because they're, they're not difficult from a technical standpoint, um, modeling wise, it's not something that will take you like forever to do, but they look really clean. So there's a lot of companies out there, a lot of like products and ad ad advertisement companies mainly that like this kind of style. And uh, for instance, I don't know, like maybe like a chicken company wants to do like some sort of like ad for Facebook or Instagram. This is the kind of thing that they want because it can be produced fast. They can do multiple variations, use all of them for like a week of their advertisements and uh, and they pay good money for those. So even though it might look simple and, and some of you might be like, no, that's way too simple for me. I want to go for like the super hard and extreme versions. These are very, very valuable products. Like knowing that someone can do complex stuff like this one right here, like the little car in the little like uh, burger uh, like store and simple models as the, as the little dock over there, that that's great. So studies, let's take a look. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the real picture and this is your um, your build, right? That's great, that's great, it's, it's a good, it's a good exercise like this. I, I think you were focusing on the shelf, that's, that's awesome. Is it a single piece or is it multiple pieces? If it's a single piece, I applaud your patience, man, because I wouldn't do it at a single piece. <laughs> it would drive me insane. Um, I would definitely do it like they did here, like multiple pieces and then just overlap them. Uh, but it's a, it's a really, really close uh, effect. Now, if you're doing this sort of things, like I know this is in the WIP uh, or working progress or studies. If you're gonna present something, I would go the extra mile and, and denoise this a little bit more just because it looks better. So, there's a denoiser in Blender. I want to show it to you guys. I'm not sure if I've shown it before. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want to learn about that one. Because even if you render in Maya, like knowing how to denoise an image like fast, it's a, it's a really good uh, thing to have. Uh, this TV is good. A little bit high on the poly count. Like really, really, really high. Seems like it was smaller from a single piece. So yeah, like I, I can understand why why it's so high. Wow, yeah, that's a, that's a really high subdivision. That's fine for a cinematic thing. It's fine. Hard surface. Okay, so here's here's where I would give you a little a, a piece of advice and and take this everyone take this with a grain of salt. 
sometimes less is more, right? So you've probably heard that thing in design and other stuff. Like this one, okay, it's a good exercise, but do, do we really need it here? Like, I can see that that's a nice topology and that there's a nice, like, I don't know, like bolt or something. For me, if I were looking for, for like, um, what's the word? If I'm looking for people to hire, if I'm going through someone's portfolio and I start seeing this kind of stuff, first of all, and, and, and I want to say this with all due respect, it's not, I'm not saying that these are bad pieces, but this is just something that's not interesting to me at this point because I've seen more interesting things up here. Like, these ones are fine as, as, as some works in progress that I like and see, oh, that's, that's cool, it looks nice. This one, they don't have the same punch, you know? And I'm not gonna be dismissive. I'm not gonna be like, oh, this guy is a horrible artist because he's doing this. But I do question like, why Why is it important for you to have this on this site, which is your main like uh, personal site, when there's more interesting stuff like this, okay? So yeah, I mean, the dice, I think I, I've shown you how to do one of this dice, which by the way, there's, there's cleaner ways to do this topology, my friend. It's not bad, but there's cleaner ways. You're gonna get a good result. Uh, don't get me wrong, but uh, there's cleaner ways. Uh, but yeah, again, I, it, it, this, these are the, the sort of exercises that I would post like on my Facebook or on my Instagram just to like, hey, I did this, it's cool, give it a like, and that's it. I wouldn't have those on my on my studies. And I can show you, like, I have some, some stuff right here, like this guy right here. I did this little monster for... Uh, for a promo that we have uh, in the, um, what's the word, in, in school I, I teach over here. But I know it's incomplete, it's just a sculpt, it's just a monster, it's just a quick texturing substance and a nice render inside of Maya in our world. So even though I like it and I think it's cool, I'm not gonna use it on my main portfolio because it's it's not it's not to my portfolio's level, you know? So it won't be with the rest of the pieces. Um, well, I, I look at this one right here, right? So this is the one that we finished for the our hard surface for uh, ZBrush, which by the way, should be down here in the description. And again, it's a good piece, but I don't think I'm gonna have it on my art station. Maybe if I create like a section for like tutorial work and this one is in there, okay, but that's its own piece, probably not, okay? So we gotta be careful on what kind of thing we show because again, showing this kind of stuff might not be the best of the of ideas. And let me tell you why this might not be a great idea. If the algorithm of like Google and stuff assigns these images to your name, like people could like look up your name, and then instead of having this images turn up on, on Google images, like all of these guys over here, they would start seeing like this sort of stuff and they would be like, huh, that's weird. I saw very cool stuff and then I'm seeing stuff that's not bad, but it's kind of like simple, right? The basic. So just be careful with that one, okay, my friend? Uh, overall, that's a really, really nice uh, portfolio, Kidalin, uh, Kide. Um, by, the, by the fact that you say that you already are working as a 3D artist, a freelancer, that's great. Keep up the good work. I do think texturing is your next step. So UVs, proper UVs, and then texturing would be my best advice for you. I think that's, uh, that would be, yeah, again, the, the next step that I would recommend for you. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm, I'm going to stop the video right here. As I mentioned, if you guys uh, want, I'm going to keep the, the, the link down here open for tomorrow. If we have enough submissions for, for more content for tomorrow, I'll be happy to do a second part of this portfolio review because we have uh, very few submissions today. And if not, don't worry, we'll keep this link open and at any point from here all the way to December 18 and 19, so all the way from now, all the way to um, Friday the 17th, we'll keep the link open to so make sure to drop your work, okay? I'll keep reminding you guys, of course, to come back to this video or I'll, I'll be sharing the link for you guys. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.